In Wales this year, 140,000 people will experience domestic abuse. 34,000 people will be sexually abused. More will be subjected to female genital mutilation, forced marriage and so-called honour-based violence. Stark figures which reflect the stark reality we face. These are large-scale, pervasive problems which every year cause needless deaths and damage to thousands of lives across Wales. I believe there is more we can do to end the physical and emotional harm caused by gender-based violence, domestic abuse and sexual violence. On 30th June, I introduced the Gender-Based Violence, Domestic Abuse and Sexual Violence Wales Bill to the Assembly. I believe the provisions of this bill offer an essential step forward towards ending gender-based violence, domestic abuse and sexual violence. I want to take this opportunity to explain how, together, we will achieve this. The bill will guarantee strategies exist at both national and local levels to ensure we share an ambitious vision to tackle this unacceptable violence and abuse. The bill will create a ministerial advisor on gender-based violence, domestic abuse and sexual violence who will drive forward progress on these issues, challenge performance and hold all of us to account. The bill will allow us to provide guidance to solidify and formalise processes which have proven effective in tackling gender-based violence, domestic abuse and sexual violence. The guidance includes a national training framework which will offer proportionate training to members of our public services and our specialist sector. A process of targeted inquiry across the public service will ensure staff can recognise and offer earlier intervention to those experiencing gender-based violence, domestic abuse and sexual violence. I am calling this process Ask and Act. Guidance on multi-agency collaboration will formalise and solidify the successful work already underway in many parts of Wales for the purposes of safeguarding victims. Your leadership on these issues is crucial to our success. As leaders, it is you who will ensure the infrastructure is in place, you who will demonstrate the commitment required to address these issues effectively, and you who will be looked to for guidance by your staff teams. In acknowledgement of this, this clip marks the launch of the Strengthening Leadership series. Over the coming months, I will be consulting with you on how we take forward the Bill and how we implement its provisions into meaningful and effective action. I will do this through our existing boards, meetings and conferences, but in addition, I will also be sending you regular information through a variety of formats such as these short film clips to share the expertise of the specialist sector and provide implementation guidance on the bill and supporting policy. It is my hope these messages will aid scrutiny of the bill and aid your understanding of how implementation of its provisions can be taken forward in a way which protects those suffering this horrendous abuse and also complements the existing knowledge and skills within your organisations, supporting your staff in the work you already have underway. Thank you.